The first way to reduce carbon dioxide, or CO2, in the atmosphere is to cut emissions, which may come from burning fossil fuels, land use changes like deforestation, and transportation. The second way is to capture carbon from the air, removing it from the atmosphere. Both solutions are needed to stabilize the climate. While carbon capture may seem complicated, it's actually a simple process that occurs in nature every day. To capture CO2, all we need is water, light, and a tree. Trees are masters of photosynthesis. This is the process of using light to turn CO2 and water into carbohydrates, which give trees the fuel they need to live and grow. Trees absorb urban carbon through their leaves. Then they perform photosynthesis to create carbohydrate food. This process also produces oxygen, which trees release back into the air. A tree's carbon storage amounts from two factors, volume and wood density. Generally, the bigger the tree, the more carbon it stores, but not always. Between trees of different species and comparable size, the tree with a higher wood density will hold more carbon. A thriving forest, full of diverse native trees, can store the most carbon of all.